It's been six years since the Texas team trail presented by Cabela's launched onto Lake Amistad. But here we are. We've got a full field on hand and a total purse worth $88,000. This is stop number three in the 2018 season. We heard somebody's got about 29. And the action starts right now. Welcome to Diablo East on Lake Amistad, the primary boat ramp for lake access. But due to weather conditions, tournament officials have decided to allow anglers to trailer and launch from the ramp of their choice. A strong front has moved through overnight and a north wind is expected to blow. Yes sir, wind switched out of the north. Uh, pretty tough bite yesterday and last week. A lot of small fish, not a lot of big fish. We're gonna see how this wind's gonna do today. Should be interesting. The Amistad's different, you know, there's going to be a lot of two pounders caught and the guy who gets the lucky two, three bites, big bites, is going to be the guy who comes out on top. What do you think, where, where do you think they're at, what, 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 what are you going to do? I think they're still a little deeper. Uh, we're going to work deep spots most of the day looking for five bites, not, not the 20 bites that we can get of the little fish, but we're looking for five big bites, or at least two good fish, and I think if you get a couple real good fish, then it's going to be game changer if you could get the bigger bites. For me, it's just a guide trip and I hadn't been on this lake in two years and I didn't get to practice yesterday, but we're just excited to be here. It's the third stop of the you know, Texas Team Trail circuit and um, you know, fishing a famed body of water and you know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just really happy to be here. Phil Marks and Tim Renault are fresh off a big day at Sam Rayburn, sacking up a monster five fish limit en route to their first win on the tour. You know, anytime you catch 37 pounds, you feel pretty good whether you win or not, you know, but uh, you know, I'd probably have been pretty miserable if somebody beat us when we had 37 pounds because that's just not something that happens every day. In addition to $50,000 in cash and prizes, Marks and Renault also picked up enough points to move them into the top 10 in the Lucas Oil Team of the Year points race. Here's a look at the rest of the top 20 coming into this event. We'll check back with Phil and Tim later, but for now, we'll get out on the water with one of the biggest names in bass fishing, Del Rio transplant Denny Brower and his partner Shane Moore. They're keying in on drop-offs at the edge of a big spawning flat, particularly in areas with deep hydrilla. Nope, it's a rat, it's okay. That'd be one. Well, he really wanted it, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get out here on the outside edge of the grass. Right now, the grass is basically <laughs> The shallow side is about 12, 14 foot, and the, the deep edge can be anywhere from 20, 21, and in some areas it's growing all the way out to 28 feet. And so a lot of the bigger fish are still relating to that deeper edge, the pre-spawners that are just starting to move up. So I'm just trying to throw this big old 10 inch bullworm out here on the outside edge, and you don't get many bites on it, but the bites you get are the kind that win tournaments. We're just kind of got a big flat here. It's got a main creek channel that winds through it. It's got some little flat points that run out that got the grass on. And we're just kind of following the contour down through here. There's a, there's a bunch of fish that are in this grass. It's just that you can get one to trigger the bite. And the bite's better in the afternoon, obviously. If we could get this same wind this afternoon, we'll probably come back here and take another path. Brower and Moore have one in the box. And with that, we'll head to break. Stay with us and we'll get right back to tournament coverage from Lake Amistad. Stop number three in the 2018 season of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. 
quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to Lake Amistad, a deep, clear water reservoir straddling the Texas-Mexico border. We've got 216 teams on hand, fishing for a total purse worth more than $88,000. The winners will take home a brand new Triton 189TRX powered by a Mercury outboard. Getting back to tournament coverage, we'll pick things up with our 2018 Sam Rayburn champions, Phil Marks and Tim Renault. Fishing is really good, it's just the size. And I don't know if it was a cold winter that put the bigger fish deeper and that deeper water is just still cold and they haven't all came up yet or, or just the fact that the grass is so far out away from the bank and there's just, it's hard to pinpoint them when you got that big area. I hate this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but throwing toward the trees, but there's a lot of hits to be had. Well, I'm fixing to. Kind of hard to fish up. Dry King Ocho, 18 foot of water with a nail in it. Got to be patient. I'm not, not a fan of being patient. It's still early, but it looks like the overnight cold front may be having an effect on the fish and probably the fishermen. Back on Denny Brower and Shane Moore. Right, Another bambino. Bambino? Yeah. I guess that's kind of a bonus fish. Normally we don't catch any before 10 o'clock. Yeah. Anything you can get early right now is a good thing. There's a lot happening on the lake. Some fish have already spawned. And some are in the spawning process. Some have not moved up yet. So there's deep fish and there's shallow fish. And it's going to be interesting to see whether the shallow guys or the deep guys really prevail in this tournament. Uh, it's kind of a wide open game. You can do whatever you really prefer to do right now. There's even some topwater fish being caught. Now, this front may screw those up a little bit, but. I would bet you can catch some of them this afternoon. There's one, a little, a little microscopic. You what? It's like microscopic. Well, we had a tough start. I was a little worried about this at the front that come through, how well they'd bite early, because this lake's notorious for them not biting very good, even under normal conditions. Now Shane was able to put two small keepers in the boat crankbaiting, but as far as working a bait on the bottom, the way we've been catching the bigger fish on the big bullworm and the jig, they just don't want anything early doing that. So we're gonna come back to this area later in the day. Right now we're gonna run out into where it's probably pretty rough and hit a couple of areas and you know do a little jumping around and try to make something happen. Obviously a two pound fish aren't gonna win this thing, so we gotta Got to get some bigger bites, but we'll probably be back here later today. With Brower and Moore on the move, we'll head north and check in with Shane Allison and Joey Cantrell. Throwing Shankos in shallow water, they've got a small limit, and if this keeps, they're culling. That's there we go. go. Yellow go. Ounces. <laughs> We need pounds. Ugh. We've caught so many little ones, that seemed like a monster, didn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. And only what, pound and a half, maybe? Maybe. Look, baby, you're done. I know. Under bluebird skies and post-frontal conditions, Allison and Cantrell are making the best of it. Stay with us. There's more exciting tournament coverage ahead from Lake Amistad and the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. 
For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but will provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil. It works. Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Evan Rood, spend more time on the water. Triton Boats, we take America fishing. By Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back to Lake Amistad, a 65,000 acre gem of a reservoir on the Rio Grande River, 12 miles northwest of Del Rio, Texas. This is rugged country, punctuated with natural springs flowing through deep canyons that are home to some of the most significant pictographs in North America. But the big draw around here is the lake. Well, Amistad is one of our main important tourism venues. And without the lake, we probably, you know, would not have as many visitors as we do now. Uh, Amistad brings in anywhere between one and a half, 1.3 to one and a half million visitors a year. And I would say the majority of those are our anglers and our fishermen and our recreation. If you make the trip to Del Rio, make sure and stop at Val Verde Winery, one of the oldest wineries in the state. Then take in thousands of years of history in the Amistad National Recreation Area. For information or to download the Del Rio Visitors app, look them up at drchamber.com. Getting back to tournament coverage, conditions are certainly challenging, but this is one of the best fisheries in the state. Past two years, it's fished pretty good. This year, it's fishing a little tougher, but a lot of hydrilla here. Last year, we had some palm weed. That stuff's not really showing up this year, but it should be a good tournament, I think. I think you'll have some decent weights coming. Every time we go somewhere, it's going to take 20, 22 to win, no matter what. No matter how tough it is, somebody out here in this field always catches 20, 22, 25. So. I think mid-20s is going to put you right up there somewhere. Yeah. Unless I missed it, I think mid-20s is be all you would need. Back on the water, Blake Schroeder and Travis McGuire are targeting post-spawn fish, throwing crankbaits over deep grass. They've got a limit, but like most, nothing big. We're fishing a, a drain that's full of grass, kind of a staging spot for when these fish pull out from up shallow. They're pretty much done spawning this time of year in this part of the lake, so we're trying to catch these fish that have pulled out. Normally there's some bigger fish that hang out on this edge and then the you know where it comes out in the creek channel out of this ditch. But right now it's been a little slow for the big fish bite. We can catch some keepers, but we're hoping to change that. There we go right there. So it's gonna run straight in there. Fishing his third season of the TXTT, Blake got off to a good start in 2016, winning the first event of the season with his partner, Easton Heigley, beating some of East Texas's best. And now, he's hungry for more. Fantastic. 
it mean a lot to win another one. Uh, I don't know too many people that have won two. Um, I mean, being 20, 20 years old when I won my first one and is pretty remar remarkable. Uh, speechless sitting there, you know, waiting for all the other guys on Rayburn to come in. It was awesome, awesome, awesome experience. Uh, Better one? Yep. Yeah. You got it? Uh, I might go, I don't know. It's a cold one with rats. Yeah. Moving on. This is Randy Dixon and Tyler Wilson. They've got their boat in 17 feet of water, throwing small baits around grassy edges. They've got a limit, albeit a small one. Uh, I'm just pitching around a little four inch Cinco uh, on a drop shot. Just trying to pitch it through these little grass edges. And last three, two weeks, it's been treating me right. All of my bites this morning has come off of uh, almost dead sticking. Just making, trying to make long cast and leave it where it lays for just a little bit. And then when you pick up, you gotta, gotta fish on it. We're getting the good stuff now. Got one? Yeah. Got one? What we had hoped to do was come down here and put a quick limit in the boat and then take off to uh, some deep water ledges and try to upgrade. But we forgot to get our first part done so far. We've got three. We've got three. One came pretty early and then, uh, like Tyler said, we were right back up here a while ago and got on a big bite and we, or uh, not a big bite, but a lot of fish but we've let the wind drift us back down here and we probably need to head back over that way. Big net? No. Well, he'll help. Yeah. I think. Oh boy. While Tyler tends to the business of culling, we'll catch up with Brandon Meyer and Ben Matsubu, another team with a TXTT win on their good resume. One, dude, good. They're making a good run at it here on Amistad. Barely had it hooked. Fluke stick. <laughs> Look at that weird looking It's an upgrade. Sucker. It's weird looking. It has a belly on it, but it's an upgrade. Strange looking. This is what we started off pre-fishing with, and now we're down to this. a huge difference <laughs> and all this wind is hard to stay connected to the bottom with these little weights we throw into with time running out we'll make one last stop and check in with the team of Grover Mansfield and Don Abernathy we got about 12 pounds in the box maybe in between 10 and 12 it, uh, Everybody's gonna catch them today. This lake's fishing really good. And uh, we've had a good day. We've culled up a little bit, you know, from 14 inches to two pounders, two and a half pounders. And uh, it kind of slowed down for us right now. We need one more big one. Donald, wake him up back there. Man, I'm, I'm, beat, I'm, I'm beating the bushes. I'm just gonna stick with what I got, you know. It's too late in the day to try to go figure something else out. So just grind it out here and hope it gets better. <laughs> grind it out and pray. And with that, we'll wrap up our on the water coverage. Coming up, we'll head to weigh in. For tournament information, look us up at TexasTeamTrail.com.
at Mercury. When something's worth doing, it's worth doing boldly. So we ran our newest engine, the equivalent of four times around the Earth, at wide open throttle. Because that's what it takes to help you go boldly too. Introducing the all new V6 Mercury four strokes. Lighter, quicker, more efficient. Mercury, go boldly. TRX. The bold new family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX. Huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, extreme Triton performance. TRX. The boat for back-to-back -back classic champions. Ready to rocket you to the winner's circle. TRX. With Triton, having it all has never been so easy. It takes brains and brawn out here. Your wits and know-how, and the rugged performance of the Nitro ZV18 and the Nitro ZV21. These two groundbreaking deep Vs and the relentless anglers who run them are turning heads and catching fish on the tournament trail. See how the Nitro ZV series is winning on northern waters. Nitro boats, champions aren't born, they're made. The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Lorance, find, navigate, dominate. And by Mercury, go boldly. Welcome back to the final moments from Lake Amistad and stop number three of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. We had a tough day. Um, caught good fish yesterday, cold front came in. All of our big fish left. Caught a bunch of dinks. We've got two real solid fish. It was just hard to, you know, it's just hard to put five good ones together out here. We've got eighty-eight thousand dollars up for grabs this afternoon. The regular payout will pay down thirty-two places. There's also twenty-one thousand five hundred dollars available in contingency money, which will pay down fifty-four places. The Cabela's Big Bass Award is worth over $1,000 today. And it's the father-son team of Buford Estep and Estep Jr. currently in the lead with 7.84 pounds. Checking in with the defending Lucas Oil Team of the Year, Jeff Reynolds and Johnny Thompson sacked up five for 16.76. Total weight, a very respectable 16.76 today. Great job, Jeff. That was a good day. Caught them all on a Santone swim jig. Just covering a lot of water. Randy Allen and Brendan Kennel rounded out the top five with a limit wing 1740. Justin Morton and John Hope brought 1855 to the scales, earning them fourth place and $2,100. Trent Huckabee and Bubba Harrelson weighed 1914 for third place. They'll take home $4,300 for their efforts. It's a good day whenever you finish third. When you finish in the top five on these, these tournaments with this many people, You've had a good tournament. This is Chris, Wilson. Chris Wilson and Harold Moore took their best shot. They finished second, picking up a check for $6,600. 2053, congratulations. We, uh, I mean, we just pretty much stuck to one deal. We were throwing a, a big swim bait and felt like that's what we needed to do to win. We only got eight bites all day, so that's how our day went. And at the top of the leaderboard was Kelly Owens and Brent Broussard. With a five bass limit. Go ahead and set them in here. We're looking for 2054 to take the lead. New leader, 3218. Yes, sir. I think that'll do it. Well, we both have history here. We fished a lot of events down here, so we really just ran a lot of history is what we did and uh, kind of got on something that we hadn't planned on, started throwing a, a big bite swim bait over the top of trees in eight to 15 foot of water and fortunately hit a quick spot and caught three giants in a matter of about 20 minutes. So that was kind of summed up our day. This place is notorious for wolf packs and big ones, and we we're just fortunate enough to get on a big bag today and get on one of those schools that that all fired and they all ate. Yep. Um, 
and we normally fish shallower around here, but you know, the grass situation is just different this year. So we improvised and uh, caught one good fish in practice that kind of keyed us into that, that little pattern. And we ran it today. We knew it was kind of a high risk deal, but um, you know, when it works, it works. Owens and Broussard dominated this event, distancing themselves from the rest of the field by more than 12 pounds. They'll take home a prize package worth better than $50,000. Moving on to the Lucas Oil Team of the Year, Corey Rambo and Rusty Clark are sitting on top, but the team of Reynolds and Thompson are looking to defend their title, and they just made a big jump all the way into the top five. For complete results and upcoming tournament information, please look us up at texasteamtrail.com. If you're planning a trip to Lake Amistad or the Del Rio area, you can find all the information you need, plus a handy visitor's app online at drchamber.com. A big thanks to all the sponsors and anglers that have made the Texas Team Trail the number one tournament series in the region.